Hey, what's up, guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today we're going to be doing an Infernoid deck profiles. I'm really excited to do this one because this is a very unique deck that plays like no other deck. Basically, it's kind of, sort of, like an old-school Chaos deck, the way that it plays. I really think that this is probably one of the most unique decks in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because basically, you have to banish Infernoid monsters from your hand and or graveyard to be able to special summon out any of your really powerful monsters, which is absolutely crazy. So, without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part of Notification Squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down the description below for all those awesome rewards, like getting your name scripts every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month you're a patron, along with test hands. So, without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing two copies of Infernoid Anunku. So Anunku is a very interesting card that has the ability that it cannot be normal summoner set. It must be special summoned from your hand and or graveyard uh, by banishing three Infernoid monsters from your hand or graveyard. And then while the total levels and ranks of all effect monsters you control is eight or lower and cannot be special summoned by other ways. So all of your Infernoid monsters basically share that ability that you have to banish a certain amount of Infernoids to special summon to your side of the field while you have less than eight levels or ranks on the field which is really kind of interesting to be able to have a mechanic in the game like that that you have to have less than a certain amount to be able to special them to your side of the field now the unique effect of a nunku is that when this card is special summoned you can destroy all other monsters on the field and then once per turn during either player's turn when a spell or trap effect is activated you can tribute a monster negate the activation and if you do banish that spell or trap which is a very good effect just to be able to give you an additional negation on the field we then play two copies of deviati as well deviati basically is the same thing as an unku but it has the ability that you can uh you can pop all spells or traps on the field, except void spells or traps on summon. And when a monster effect is activated, then you can tribute one monster, negate the activation of that monster, and banish it, which is insanely good. We then play a single copy of Ontodel. Ontodel, you only have to banish two Infernoid monsters to special summon this card while you have less than eight on the field. And when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can activate the effect that this card can make a second attack in a row. And then also it has the ability that a lot of your other Infernoid monsters share that once per turn during either player's turn, you can treat a monster, target a card in your opponent's graveyard, and banish it. We then play two copies of Semestus. Semestus is really good as well. This card is a two of in the deck because it's really easy to summon to your field. And if this card attacks an opponent's monster, you can activate the effect at the end of the battle phase to banish a card on the field. It doesn't target, it just banishes it. And it also shares the ability that once per turn, during the player's turn, you can treat a monster, target a card in your opponent's graveyard, and banish it. And you have to banish two Infernoids to special summon this to your side of the field. We then play a single copy of Sajet, which is the last one that takes two Infernoids to actually special summon it to your side of the field. It's a very unique card. I think this is probably one of my favorites of them all because you have to combo this card with Void Feast, along with your two copies of Decatron, which is probably the most unique of all of the Infernoid monsters. But this card has the ability that when this card declares an attack, you can banish a card from your opponent's extra deck, their choice, and then once per turn during the end phase, or during the either player's turn, you can treat one monster to target a card in your opponent's graveyard and banish it, which is really cool. We play two copies of Petrulia. Petrulia, you only have to banish one card from the graveyard that's an Infernoid monster or from your hand to be able to special summon this card, and it's basically a walking MST. You play a single copy of Harmonic. Harmonic is a very interesting card as well. That basically it's a um, it basically pops one monster on the field, but it can't attack the turn you activate that effect. And then we play uh, two copies of Antra, which is basically a MST or not an MST, but it's basically a compulsory evacuation device that you can target one face of card your opponent controls and return it to the hand, which is a very unique effect just to be able to bounce a card to your opponent's hand. Um, and then we play three copies of Decatron to round out the monsters. So Decatron is the all star of the entire deck, and Decatron has a very unique, very cool effect. That what this card does is when it's normal or special summon, you can send one Infernoid monster from your deck to the graveyard, except another copy of Decatron. If you do, increase this card's level by the level of the sent monster. And if you do that, this card's name becomes that monster's name, and you replace this card's effect with that monster's effect. So basically, if you send this card to the graveyard, you can copy the effect of, say, an Anunku or Deviati to may be able to make it negate spells or, or negate spells or negate traps, which is very good. It doesn't get the board wipe because it doesn't happen on summon. It actually just can happen afterwards. So it does get the negation, which is pretty cool. So if you can special summon both of these to your side of the field at the same time off of Void Feast, you can basically get the effect of the copies of Anunku and Deviati to give you two negates on the field, which is very, very nice. So... That's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. 
So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Foolish Burial because this deck plays out of the graveyard, which is absolutely great for this deck to be able to play the one copy of Foolish Burial. Play a single copy of Terraforming because we do play a field spell in this deck that is really good called Layer of Darkness. One copy of One for One because it gets our Decatrons out of the deck really fast. We play a single copy of Reasoning because Reasoning is ridiculously helpful in this deck because the only monster that you can actually special summon in this deck is Decatron, so you're going to be sending a lot of cards to the graveyard, and that's fine by us because we can get a bunch of cards in the graveyard to be able to pop off during our turn. We play three copies of Monster Gate because with Lair of Darkness, we can actually tribute our opponent's monsters to activate this card's effect, which is really good to be able to start to mill cards off the top of their deck to be able to play from the graveyard. We then play three copies of Lair of Darkness, which is single-handedly the most important card in the entire deck that makes everything on the field dark, and then once per turn, if you're going to tribute a card, then you can tribute to activate this effect, then you can tribute a dark monster opponent controls and everything becomes dark with this card on the field so basically contribute your monster your opponent's monsters once per turn and then the turn player gets tokens for every monster that was tributed during their turn which is pretty good it is mandatory to activate but it's kind of neat because stuff like your copies of your anunku and your deviati that tribute cards on your side of the field which is really great to be able to distribute something to negate a spell or trap contribute your opponent's monsters to negate other effects that they're activating so it can really start to get you some good pluses with this card and it's absolutely crazy we then play three copies of super polymerization because with the copies of lair this card is absolutely bonkers in this deck and it's just really good to be able to fusion summon our opponent's monsters away three copies a pot of extravagance we don't super care about the extra deck so this card comes in really handy to be able to draw cards three copies of void imagination void imagination is really neat because infernoid monsters you control uh, as levels that are two or higher become one so basically it entirely ignores the effects of all of your infernoid monsters that say hey you can't special summon anything if you have rank eight or higher or level or higher on your field uh, that your combined levels and ranks are eight or higher you can't special summon but this card has the ability you can send this card to the graveyard as well the fusion summon one infernoid fusion monster from your extra deck using monster in your hand or your side of the field as fusion materials and if your opponent controls a monster that was fusion summoned or there excuse me that uh if your opponent controls a monster uh that was special summoned from your extra deck and you don't then you can use six monsters from your deck as fusion material as well which is a great like Foolish Barrel to get a bunch of monsters in the graveyard to be able to go into your copy of your Infernoid Fusion monster. This card also makes it so when it's on the field, all damage your opponent is halved, so it is a little bit of a downside to this card, but it's not that bad. We then play three copies of Void Vanishment to round out the spells. This card is insanely good. You just discard a card from your hand to be able to add a Void Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand, and you can also uh, accept another copy of Vanishment or Null and Void, also, you cannot normal summon or special on monsters for the rest of the turn, except Infernoids, which is fine. And you can only use the effect of this card once per turn. And if an Infernoid monster you control battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, you can send this card to the graveyard, banish both of those monsters. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we do play three traps in the deck, which all are very good traps. Uh, and it is three copies of Void Feast. Void Feast is probably, besides Lair and Decatron, the card that you want to see very quickly in this deck because you send a Void Spell or Trap from your hand to the graveyard. Um, and then you can also, or face up from your field to the graveyard, to special summon up to three Infernal Monsters from your deck that exactly equal eight, ignoring their summoning conditions. So basically, what you're going to do with this card is when you activate it, you special summon out a copy of Sujet, and then you special summon out two copies of Decatron, and once you summon out the two copies of Decatron, you can activate both the effects of the Decatrons to then send to the graveyard a copy of Anunku and a copy of Deviati. And once you send those to the graveyard, you're going to get the effects of the Anunkus and the Deviati. So basically you'll have Anunku and Deviati's effects on the field, but you won't have Anunku and Deviati. You'll actually have two copies of Decatron that are copying them, which is kind of neat. And plus, you'll have in the graveyard your Anunku and Deviati to actually bring them back to your side of the field, if need be, once you kind of get your levels down or you get Void Imagination, which is very, very good for this deck. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So the extra deck is a pot of extravagance build, so it's not super big what you play, but you have to play three copies of the Infernoid uh, Fusion Monster. The Infernoid Fusion Monster is absolutely crazy, and it's really good in this deck because it has the ability that depending on the amount of fusion materials you use to summon this card, you get different effects. But you have to use Anunku and Deviati plus another Infernoid Monster, so it does take three. Its effects are, the three effect is that each player sends the top three cards of their extra deck to the graveyard, 
five. Each player sends the top three cards of their deck to the graveyard or eight. Each player returns three cards of their that are banished to the graveyard or 10. Each player sends their entire hand to the graveyard. So all of them benefit us and kind of hurt the opponent. So this card is really, really good. We then play two copies of Starving Venom for the Super Poly targets, which is really good. We play two copies of Elder Entity Nist because you can pop cards with this card and this card can go to the graveyard with your copy of your... Um, your uh, Infernal Wood Fusion Monster. We play a single copy of Fossil Warrior Skull Knight, which you can also send to the graveyard, and you can banish it at any time instead of the Elder Entity making you banish it at, or making you pop on sent to the graveyard effect. One copy of Mud Dragon is an additional Super Poly target because pretty much this is all you're ever going to need for Super Poly targets. I promise you in this deck, like you're never going to need anything. This is when you don't have Lair, and this is when you do have Lair. We then play the same copy of Topologic Zero Boros. Zero Boros is really good in this deck because you're going to be banishing a lot of stuff. And these are kind of just toolbox cards that you can play if you want to. You can bump these up to multiples if you want to. This card gains attack for every banished card, which is pretty good. Um, and also if another card is special summoned to the link zone, this card points to. While this card is in the, on the field, banish all cards on the field. And then once we're turning, they're in the same phase. After this card was banished by its own effect, you get special on this card back, and you cannot normal summon or special summon monsters to zone this card points to, which is really, really good. We then play two copies of Equal Max. Equal Max is really good in this deck. It helps you OTK. It gains attack for every monster that points to, so this card can get really big, and it's really easy to actually summon to your side of the field, especially when you use the copy of your um use the copy of void feast you can just basically instantly get this card out on your side of the field which is really nice we play a single copy of unicorn unicorn is really nice in this deck too because it can spin stuff phoenix because it mobs spells or traps and a single copy of ip mascarena to round out the monsters which ip mascarena is really good in this deck because basically what you're going to do with this card is link summon into this card and then link climb during your opponent's turn or during your turn to go in equal max or your copy of your unicorn because equal max does require a link monster to go into it so that's pretty much it for the deck guys i hope you did enjoy it it's a really really fun deck to be able to play around with it's super super cool that infernoids are still kind of somewhat sneaking into the meta and it's really kind of a cool deck to just surprise people with because a lot of people like the floodgate effects of this deck is just really good especially with lair turning everything to dark can just mess up an entire deck strategy and then nunku just board wiping and deviati board wiping spells and traps is just really good and you having two walking negates in this deck they can come out off of one trap card is just absolutely crazy and being able to main deck super poly is just really good too so anyways guys this is dark arm duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys